Today I'm going to show you how to make a copycat Dunkin' Donut. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get our dry ingredients in our bowl. So we need two and a fourth cups of flour. And a fourth. And then we need our cocoa. We need one and a fourth cups of our just, it says Dutch processed cocoa powder, which I just use regular old cocoa powder. All right, so there's our half a cup. There's our fourth of a cup. And then we need our other half a cup. Now we're gonna put our baking powder, which we need two teaspoons of regular baking powder. One, and two, and then we need a little bit of salt. Okay, then we're gonna give that a nice little stir. Make sure everything's kind of together. And remember, these donuts, um, Dunkin' Donuts are more like cake, with, whereas like Krispy Kreme donuts are more like bread, I've been told. So that looks like a really good cake mix. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to put our eggs in our big mixing bowl, and we need four eggs. So let's get my four eggs over here. All right, we've got our eggs mixed in really good. Now we're gonna add our sugar, butter, and buttermilk. Let me get this up so we can get to everything. All right, so one and a half cups of sugar. There's one. And a half. And then we need a third of a cup of buttermilk. There's that. And then we need our five tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna mix this up really good. Next step we need to do is put our flour mixture in with our wet and get that mixed in really well. All right, this dough is really, really wet. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. I try to warn you guys, whenever you're watching any of my videos, this is literally a, could be a fail, uh, could be a success. I never know when I'm starting out because again, I've never made any of these recipes before. So I have no idea, but this just looks really, really wet. Um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna get it out of this bowl and see what happens when we get it on the counter. We're Let's see if I can even get it out of the bowl. All right, this is supposed to be like dough you can roll out. And as you can see, it is just very wet. Let's see if we can get a little bit more flour going on in it. Yeah, see, it's just wanting to stick all over the place. I don't think we're going to be using all of our uh, 
dough on this one just because we're having such a rough time getting anything to come out. See how it's just sticking to my counter? Again, if anybody has any suggestions, please put it in the comments down below. That might help me in the future. I have never made this recipe before. Just found it online and it's supposed to be a copycat Dunkin' Donuts chocolate donut with a, a nice glaze. Now we're going to see about actually frying some up. So I have my timer here already set for a minute because that's normally what I like to do. Um, I have my paper towels on my little strainer tray and a cookie sheet. And then I have my cookies, uh, sorry, my donuts over here waiting to be dropped into my fryer. And so I think I have it where you guys can kind of see everything, but we're gonna go ahead and start frying up these donuts. I will go ahead and warn you, when you're doing these, it's kind of a quick process, so you can't really step away or do other things. So I'm just gonna drop him into my basket and then I'm gonna start my timer. I'm hoping that y'all can see this. I'm gonna wiggle the camera, but see he's already floating and it's only been about 30 seconds. So we're doing pretty good so far. I just don't want to over fry them or have them be burnt. It also said to be careful not to overcrowd them in your fryer. Now I will put a couple of donut holes in together, but I try not to put too many of the donuts in together because it cools off your grease and you're not getting that good fry temperature that you want. Okay, my timer is about to go off. So we're gonna flip this guy over. And we're gonna give him a minute. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two minutes on each side. All right, so let's pull out our second one and see if he looks any better. He doesn't look any darker, so that's really a good sign. All right, so now we're just gonna try in our next one. Again, I'm doing this at two minutes on each side now. So now it's time to make the glaze that we're gonna put over the donuts. We have all the donuts made up, and so now we're gonna put one cup of milk in the saucepan, and we're gonna let that just sit here and warm up a little bit. It just says to let it simmer. That's what I'm telling you. Sometimes, guys, these recipes just leave a lot to the imagination. So what we're doing first is we've put one cup of regular whole milk in a, in a pan on semi-low, medium heat. And we're just gonna let this simmer a little bit. I'm just gonna let it get a little bit warm. And then we'll start the rest of the instructions. I'm gonna say that's about two minutes. I'm gonna mark that on my recipe just in case I need to know that in the future. All right. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off of the stove and put this in our bowl. And we're gonna need this pan again in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water in the bottom of it and get it going back. All right, so we have our warm milk. Make sure, sorry to move you guys. I wanna make sure y'all can see We've got our warm milk. Now we're gonna put in our confectionery sugar. And I'm just gonna kinda of plop this in a little slowly. I don't want it to splash any of my milk up. And this is five cups of confectionery sugar. So there is no reason why we should not have plenty of glaze for these donuts. Oh my goodness, we should have plenty. Okay. All right. We have our confectionery sugar in there. Now we need two teaspoons of vanilla. One, and two. And now we need to put a little bit of salt in here. All right, and now we're gonna mi mix this until it's nice and smooth. Isn't that gorgeous? 
All right, now what we wanna do is we're just gonna take the whole bowl and place it over our simmering water and get this a little bit thinner and a little bit smoother. And it should take, the recipe says about four to six minutes. So let me move y'all back over here a little bit. And I'm gonna reset my timer for four minutes and see what happens. All right, so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take this lovely bowl and put it over here in front of our donuts. Very hot bowl. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these donuts. It says you should completely submerge it. And I'm gonna take it and let it drip a little bit and set it on my baking tray. Just make sure that it's kind of soaked in everywhere. My donuts seem to have a little bit of ridges and uh, imperfections. So I wanna make sure that that glaze has a chance to soak in everywhere. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep kind of dunking these into the glaze, getting them nice and covered up. And then we'll let them sit here for about an hour to just kind of like soak everything in and hopefully harden up a little bit. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll try one out and see how they do. I don't know if you can tell or not, but these back ones are already starting to dry a little bit and they look really good. It looks like the glaze is going to do really well on them, but I think what I may do is do a second dip and see what that does. I think I'm just going to do this back row, doing a, a second dip. They are officially done. They have sat here for about an hour, but I did want to show something kind of neat that happened. All right, so this top one I dipped in the glaze twice, and so you can see it's much wider, and you can definitely tell the glaze on it. This one is much prettier and its glaze was only for one time. So I think I'm going to leave them be and just have left those top ones as glazed twice. They do taste wonderful. They're really um, nice and cakey and um, the glaze is not too much, but they are very, very yummy. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll continue to make great bakes for you and I will catch you on the next bake. I did want to point out that this recipe made about 14 to 16 donuts and then I had matching donut holes for those. So it still made quite a bit of donuts even though I wasn't able to use all of the dough.